Hello, I'm Jacob from Armature Systems. In order to maintain a productive and safe workforce, companies need to enable their employees to work anywhere, anytime, on any device. To roll this out safely, large enterprises have primarily had to turn to a zero trust security model. A zero trust security model essentially provisions access to each user dynamically based on who they are, what device they're logging in from, and their location. Today, Kusal is going to show you how to get started building your company's zero trust security model using Okta. Hi there, my name is Kusal. I'm a network security architect here at Amateur Systems. Today, I'm going to talk to you about zero trust architecture by leveraging Okta's risk based authentication. Let's quickly review some of the reasons why zero trust is becoming more and more important as we move from a fragmented identity towards a more adaptive workforce. As we know, businesses are impacted due to COVID. Large enterprise businesses are starting to reconsider their approach towards security. The resources are also becoming more and more decentralized as companies need to support a distributed workforce, capable of working from anywhere on any device, making us rethink how the users connect to their applications and data while maintaining a seamless work experience for the end user. That said, traditional approaches that focus on establishing a stronger perimeter are becoming obsolete and don't paint a holistic picture of users accessing the data and the applications, which is why we need a solution that focuses on real contextual data behind each login. I will now walk you through a few sample workflows and a configuration example to demonstrate this feature using a real-world application. In this initial setup, I have an application using SAML2.org. Looking at the login page, you can see there's no password field. This is because we've enabled risk-based authentication for the organization. In this case, what happens when the user enters their credentials is dependent on the contextual cues at the time of the login. As I enter my username, a pop-up appears, asking me to provide a second authentication factor. I can simply use my fingerprint using Touch ID to complete the authentication. I have the option to either use Okta Verify Push or Secure Key Biometric. We have also enabled WebAuthN. I can simply use the biometric scanner on my device to complete the authentication. Here, RISPACE authentication is used to deliver a passwordless login experience. Now using the end user experience, let's look at the configuration from an admin standpoint. First, start by making sure that you have the appropriate features enabled under the admin console. Go to Settings and Features. Make sure that you have the factor sequencing enabled as well as risk based authentication. Now that you have validated you have the right feature functionality enabled, let's look at the sign on policies. Go back to the admin console, click on security, authentication, and sign on policies. As you can see, we have a risk based sign on policy on top assigned to the demo group consisting of three rules. Digging into the low risk rule, you can see the risk is set to low and we have a factor sequence for the authentication method. I can either choose Okta Verify Push, WebAuthN, or Okta Verify to authenticate. This provides a hardened authentication workflow while keeping the experience simple and seamless for the end user. Now let's think of a scenario where a user attempts to authenticate using a corporate laptop in an unknown region on a public Wi-Fi network. Contextual data should now place the user in the high-risk category based on the network, device, and location indicators. Based on the risk rating, the authentication workflow can be automated to deny access or prompt the user to submit additional authentication factors, as shown here. Finally, solutions can also be integrated with Threat Insight or Account Compromise Detection Notification to provide stronger risk assessment. Further enhancements can be added using Okta workflows via automations and even hooks. Logs can also be pushed to a SIM and use as a means to prioritize alerts and drive additional context. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to our channel and visit us at armaturesystems.com.